Today I show you how to delete files and directories from your Samsung Galaxy Android phone. If you want to free up some space and you already have these files somewhere else, you can delete them. And if you don't have them, you can move them to the computer. Make sure you don't delete something that you need. You will not be able to get it back easily. So you go to the files here. You could get it back if you did it from gallery and uh, you use the bin, but it's really, it's complicated. Try not to delete something that you might need in the future. This is the only thing I can say. Before going into too many details, navigate to the folders that you want to delete here. And I will create another directory here that's together with the images. So I have some screenshots files here, nothing interesting. But what you do, you can long press on one file and then you can select multiple files like that. You can choose the bin and I recommend you use the bin. Read very carefully here, the files will be moved to the bin and you can restore them for up to 30 days. They will still take storage space on your phone. So if you want to free up storage space on your phone, this is not how you do it, but I will choose now that I move these four images to the bin and they are gone, but actually they are still on the phone taking space and I can restore them. This is the most important part, but within 30 days, I can restore them within 30 days, no more. And like that, I can delete some of them, like these two, I could delete permanently. On the top right here, you have this three dot menu, tap there, and then you see the option to delete permanently. This is permanent, so if you do this by mistake on files that you really need, uh, important files, turn off the phone and don't use it. Take it to a data recovery center, which might be able to recover your files or not, might not be able to recover depending on your luck, but this is for important files. If the files are not important, it doesn't matter. Delete permanently. It says it is permanent and it cannot be undone. And now they're gone. They're not in the recycle bin. They're not anywhere to get back. But if you wanted to get the previous files from the recycle bin back, if you want to restore the files that you deleted using the bin option on the files by Google app here, you go into the home page of this app and tap on this three line menu there, hamburger menu, how it's called, and you choose the bin option. In the bin option here, in the bin, you have your screenshots. So these files, I deleted them earlier now. I can I can actually restore them or delete them permanently if I want to get rid of them. I'll try restoring them. I don't know. Were they back? They look like they're back because I deleted some in the, in the meantime. So when I combine the file and directory, I only have the option to delete permanently. No bin option. If I have only the folder here, I can also delete permanently. The folder might be empty or it might be full of files. Anything inside that folder will be deleted permanently. So I choose delete and it's gone. And I could actually delete this whole folder from here and I could choose delete permanently and everything is gone from there. And I could choose to delete this whole test folder, delete permanently. That's it. I hope this helps you. Let me know in the comment section below if you delete files or you move them to the computer. You should really move the files to the computer, especially videos and pictures, not delete them. Thanks for watching.